Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my bike build. Um, anyways, I just wanted to mention on January the 8th, uh, fellow moto vlogger, motorcycle rider, moto turtle lost his life, was in an accident with a semi truck. Um, in the UK, they call him a lorry. I'm not sure what happened, but my thoughts and my condolences go out to his family and may he ride with the angels. Um, pretty sad day on January the 8th, anyways. A good kid. Uh, watched a lot of his videos a lot of people liked him and Anyways, Godspeed to his family My thoughts go out to him and I'm very sorry But anyways, you're riding with the angels now and it's another just another motorcycle rider out there to protect us out on the road So anyway, God bless um, You guys know that I was working on my swing arm and um, So <sighs> It's a lot of work, but basically I'll tell you what I was using on my swing arm. Um, I'm still not done with it. They wanted like, I think it was like $400 to strip the damn thing or something like that. 380 and they wanted me to wait like 20 days. And, you know, with like $25 worth of sandpaper and stuff, I tried using the, um, the aircraft stripper. It didn't remove it, as you guys know that in my last video. But I've done a lot of the stripping on the swing arm since then. And um, it actually taken me about, I'd say, maybe four hours. So basically, you use a 120 grit, okay? 120 grit. You're going to use a 180 grit. And then I did, I, I do have 220. I had to get some extra sandpaper because I ran out. But you use the 220. And then you go to a 320 and I'm not polishing the swing arm so I just was messing around today and I did a 1500 on it just to see what it would look like but you do the 400 on there and it'll basically it'll turn out like this um, oh and you got this for like it's a finishing pad I didn't have any of these so I got one of those too so for basically $20 worth of sanding material you know, you can strip the swing arm yourself. Other people have their different ways of doing it. I am going to try the aircraft remover on it again. Um, I don't know if maybe the Easy Off had something to do with the chemical reaction or whatever and it didn't like strip it off. But I am going to clean it with Easy Off again after I get done with this because it's going to go to the powder coater and there absolutely can't be anything on there if I want a good job done so and i'm going to do it to the wheels too as well but basically if you guys can see this in the camera that is basically what it looks like and to the 400 grit finish so i'm still not done i still got to get this part in here around inside of here and you can see right here up close this here up close and personal if I'm trying to get the camera to to adjust to this here, but you can see the the shiny part right in here and where a lot of the the top coat is on this that they use the silver paint or whatever. But um, this is what it turned out like. So, but this is 1500 on the side, nice and shiny. I do have a small dent in there. I'm not worried about that. Um, I did do a lot of the repair work. There was some pits on here as well um, This is a 400 finish on this side so you know uh, Basically just need to get the dirt cleared off of here and get it all sanded down good and nice and clean for the powder coater because I don't want The powder coating coming off and sticking but basically this is what I've done so far. I'm gonna finish it tomorrow I'm trying I'm gonna go down to um, Pro Caliber and try to get some 10 pound um, shock oil for my shock so I need to do that and also there was another mistake made um, with the bike <laughs> they sent me the wrong hub um, it fit on there but it's not like this one here you know where I have this and there was actually inside of here there was a lot of movement and a lot of play when I went to when I went to test it and it just it wasn't fitting in there right when I put it on the bike. So uh, the cush drive um, that's in there, 
you got little rubber cushions in there. It's a cush drive, so it basically fits inside there, all your rubbers in there, and you know, this here. So basically, um, it didn't fit right, so I sent it back to Babbitt's, and they said they must have sent me one for like a 500. So I'm waiting to get that back. I sent that out on Tuesday, so I'm just waiting to get that back and so I can do some more stuff on it. And I've had a lot of crap going on, so um, tomorrow I'm gonna take my shocks off my bike and I'm gonna, the, uh, the bottom tree, I'm gonna strip that down also as well and that's going to the powder coater. So I have to prep everything. But um, anyways, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, like I said, I'm not filming a lot of this, me doing a lot of this stuff. Uh, you guys probably see a lot of this stuff done on YouTube as it is anyway. I'm gonna try to do some uh, videos of me actually doing stuff, but I just get really busy at work and everything and um, I just wanna get some of the parts finished so I can be riding my bike soon. We've had some really, really nice days here in Oregon. They've been nice and dry. There hasn't been um, any bad weather as far as ice and snow or anything like that, so in the valleys. But anyways, so everybody's out riding their bikes. I'm not getting to ride mine. It really sucks. I wanna get my bike done so I can ride and the oven's going off because my pizza's done. <laughs> So I'm going to get out of here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. And once again, Moto Turtle, ride with the angels. And take care. Thanks for watching.